Well, hello, right, the last few days have been absolutely toilet, haven't they? Pouring down the rain, crap. Um, now, I've been thinking this for a while, so I thought I'd give it a little go, and I've been trying it out for um, the last week, and it's worked out really, really well. Now, you know you've got these bronze wall pads, which are absolutely brilliant, ideal for taking a load of crap off, conservatories, roofs, uh, you know, glass, whatever. Uh, really well, but sometimes you don't want something so big, just so, so you know, can just slip on and off, as and one you want, or just leave on the pole. And you, you know, you might have a bit, a bit of a crap so big, you know, and you only need it every now and again. Um, and often, what we used to do before the bronze wall pads, we used to go along, we used to scrape it, didn't we, at the sides and everything like that, you know, on the window, try and get it off with that. You're worried about scratching the glass and everything like this. Um, so I thought, right, surely there must be something. I had a little look. Um, now what I thought is, on a on a pole, if we had a bit of it, I've got a lot of this stuff I muck around, and as you can see, look, I've mould stuff and our plastic. Just have a bit of fun in my workshop on a rainy day. Now I come up with something. This is my first sort of effort, and a little go. Um, it was like this, and the idea it was going to go on the side, like this, yeah. Go like that, and a bronze wall pad on the side. Um, this is my f last one. I'm going to make it slightly smaller, but I just can't tell you how well it works, you know. And what it is, if you have a little look there, same again. I've drilled a hole through there. If you have a look, most brushes have got two holes uh, for four jets, haven't they? What I've done, drilled a hole there, notched a bit out to go past that. I did that, you wouldn't have to, you could make it small if you wanted a smaller one, and you wouldn't have to make it that fat either, it's just the one that I've been playing around with, I'll probably need, to be honest with you, I would probably do it in between the two, my next effort, that's what I'm going to be doing, but go down like that, um, I put some Velcro on, if you have a little look, didn't have a lot of joy with the Velcro, it was only Mrs. Old Cheap Old Stuff, um, did do all right, sprayed it and stuck a bit of glue on, that worked quite well. But what I found is, if I stapled it right on the corner there, because I'm not going to use that side, and obviously I'm not going to be using something inside there, am I? It stays on solid, you know? So you can now go along, you clean the old windows, and that's the bit that you use. Just scrape that little bit of crap off. And it takes two seconds just to undo that screw and whiz it off. I did have this other idea. Um, see I've got the the gap there probably put a couple of little springs underneath and then this could be extended backwards and forwards you know and like a little bar that I could fix there and just go backwards and forwards but I just thought I'd just try this and this just seems to work work magic so it was just a bit of fun while you're pouring down, pouring down the rain and it does work it works really well simple to do uh, I'm not taking it away from one of these need one of these in your old tool belt brilliant but this is just something you can stick in your pocket and just get out for that little occasional job.